Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Windows Business Weekly. This week I'm going to show you how you can use virtual desktops in Windows 10 to improve your efficiency and productivity, especially for those of you that are new to working from home. I hope that this tip is really going to help you be more effective at work. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So with the worldwide coronavirus pandemic affecting a lot of people and how they work, I want to give you a tip this week to show you how to work more effectively from home. Now, of course, I know that a lot of people do work with just a notebook at work anyway and nothing more, but lots of, lots of you will also be used to working with a multi-monitor setup. And of course, when you come to working at home, there may be certain things that make you less productive. So you may not have a proper place to sit, uh, you may not have a, a desk at the right height, uh, an ergonomic chair, you may not have an external monitor at all. Or if you do, the likelihood is you're going to just have one. But in Windows 10, there is a feature called virtual desktops. Now, of course, this isn't as effective as either having one large monitor or several external monitors, maybe. But what this allows you to do is to divide your work into what Microsoft calls a virtual desktops and switch between them. So the idea is that you have less open windows or less clutter on each desktop, and that should make it easier to focus on a particular task. So you might have, I don't know, one desktop for a particular client, for client A, a second, uh, second desktop for client B, or as I do uh, most of the time with my desktop, I have one virtual desktop where all my communication software is open, like Outlook and any other kind of chat that I need, maybe Teams, for instance. And then the stuff that I really need to focus on, the actual work, I split onto another virtual desktop. And this makes it easier for me to focus on what I'm actually doing and find stuff when I need it. So I think the best thing to do is just to get straight into a demo and I'll show, show you exactly how to set up virtual desktops and how to switch between them and move applications between them when you need to. So here on my desktop, you can see that I have several applications open. The one you can see at the moment is Audacity, the program that I use to record the audio for this podcast. The first thing to understand is how do you get access to the management of virtual desktops. Now, the easiest way to do that is to use the task view icon, which is on the taskbar. So if you come down to the bottom left-hand corner of the taskbar, you can see that I have obviously the Windows button, which opens the start menu, the search icon, then Cortana, and then the next one is called task view. So if I click on task view, you can now see the applications that I have open and the history of things that I've opened in other applications below it. Now you can see there that I have on this desktop active at the moment uh, Teams and Audacity. Now let's say for instance that I want to put Teams on a separate virtual desktop to, com to keep my communication separate. So all I have to do here is click New Desktop and you can see now I get desktop one, desktop two, and the option to add another virtual desktop. I don't know if there's an actual limit on the number of virtual desktops that you can have open. I don't think so. But you can keep adding as many virtual desktops as you're likely to need. So I want to move Teams now to the second desktop. So how do I do that? All I have to do is click on Teams here, keep the mouse button pressed down, and this then just drag it here onto desktop two. So if I want to switch between desktops, all I have to do is hover over desktop two, click on it, and now you can see that I have Teams active there. And if I want to, of course, go back to Audacity, I can come back down to Windows Task View and just switch to desktop one. And you can see now that I have those two applications separated on different desktops. Now, if you want to do that in a faster way, that you don't want to have to go into task view every time you want to switch desktops, there are keyboard shortcuts. 
So if I want to switch quickly back and forwards between desktops, all I need to do is hold down Control, Windows, and then use the left and right arrows to switch between the two desktops, as you can see there. There are also shortcuts to create new virtual desktops and to close a virtual desktop. So for instance, let me cross over now to my Teams virtual desktop. If I want to close it, I press the Windows key, Control and F4. And you can see now that that virtual desktop has disappeared. If I come back to task view, you can see now that I only have one desktop. If you want to create a new virtual desktop, you press Windows, Control and D. And you can see now that I have a new virtual desktop and I can just go ahead straight away and open up Teams. Now, because I'm using two monitors to record this demonstration, it's actually opened up on the other monitor. So I just have to move the application across there. But you can see now if I use the shortcuts to go, the keyboard shortcuts to go backwards and forwards, I can go back backwards and forwards between those two virtual desktops really quickly without having to actually go into task view. Now there are various settings related to how virtual desktops work. Again, this is a little bit confused what you can see on the screen here because I'm using a multi-monitor setup, but I have it set to only show desktop icons on the taskbar from applications that I'm actually working with on that particular desktop. And you can change the multitasking settings for Windows virtual desktops in the settings app. So to open the settings app, I can just click on search here. And if I type settings, we get here settings. So I'm just gonna open up the settings app. Again, that's opened up on my other monitor. So I'm just gonna drag it across there. And if I type virtual into the search box, you can see there, customize virtual desktop settings. So I'm gonna click on that. If I scroll down a little bit here, you can see virtual desktops and there are a couple of options. So you can see there the setting that I was talking about to only show applications that are open on the actual desktop that I'm using. You can change that to show everything if you want. I think the default application is, so the default setting is all, all desktops, but I changed it. And you can also customize what pressing Alt-Tab does. So for instance, you know that Alt-Tab, if I press that now, is used to cycle through desktops. Unfortunately, that's showing the display on my main monitor, which is the second monitor, which is not being recorded, so you can't see it. But I guess you're familiar with pressing Alt-Tab. So you can set that to only cycle through the applications open on the particular virtual desktop that you're working on, or to cycle through all applications on all desktops. And you can set that how you like. If you want to quickly get into Windows task view without pressing the icon on the taskbar, then instead of pressing Alt tab, you press Windows tab. And you can see there that I have the option again to switch between desktops or to add a new desktop if I like. You can also right click on an application in task view and you can opt to move it to either a desktop that you already have open or to a new virtual desktop. Now this version of Windows that I'm using is version 1909. So it's the latest commercially available version if you like. In the upcoming May update, which is Windows 10 version 2004, you'll be able to rename virtual desktops. I can't do that at the moment in this version of Windows that I'm using, but you will be able to right click on a desktop here. And rather than having desktop one, desktop two, those desktops will actually be able to have names that you assign to them. So that's the basics of Windows virtual desktops and how they work. As you can see, the functionality there is relatively simple. You can basically just create new virtual desktops, move applications between them. There are a couple of things that you should be aware of before you integrate the virtual desktops into your workflow. Now, the state of virtual desktops is maintained between reboots. Now, what does that mean exactly? It means that if you have one or more virtual desktops open in Windows, 
when you reboot the device, those virtual desktops will be still there, if you like. And if you're using the May uh, 2020 update, then the names of your desktops will also be maintained between reboots. But unfortunately, what is not maintained is the applications that you have open and which applications are on which desktops. So in Windows, maybe I'll show you next week, you can have applications persist reboot so that if you have it open, an application for instance, and then you reboot Windows, then that application will automatically open when Windows is restarted if it supports maintaining states. And most applications uh, that are modern, at least, that have been developed recently do support that. But unfortunately, what won't happen, as I said, is the application being placed on the right desktop. So while your desktops will be there, you'll need to use Task View to actually put the applications back onto the right desktops. So that is a little bit of a, a pain, maybe a disadvantage of using virtual desktops. But then again, it really just depends how often you need to reboot your computer. Now, a lot of people have complained that the features in uh, Windows Virtual Desktop haven't really been developed for several years. They introduced this feature in Windows 10, haven't really developed it much further than what you can see today. Now, of course, you have all the basics that are really necessary there to use virtual desktops. But one of the reasons possibly that Microsoft is not really investing in virtual desktops and adding more features is that just not enough people use it. And I think that's partly a discoverability issue. And it takes time to get used to working with virtual desktops. It will take some time to integrate it into your workflow, to understand how to work with them. And you just kind of have to get used to it. And to be honest, it's something that I use all of the time. I think it is something that people could make use of to improve their productivity and focus. But it's just a question of everything. A lot of people just, you know, are uncomfortable changing the way they do things. But I think this is something that you could have a look at and give a go. If you don't like it, then of course there, there's no loss and nobody's forcing you to use it. But it's something that you could definitely use yourself. If you're an IT support person, maybe something that you could show your users so that they can be more effective, especially when they're working from home. Okay, so that's it from me this week. And I hope you join me next time for Windows Business Weekly.